Guess who's back? Back again. Mumbler's back. Guess who's back? Tell a friend. It's been a while. I'm back. We're going to do a little bit of a tutorial series on 3D text, creation, texturing, and animation. Let's get started. All right, we're going to do a little 3D text here, but to start off, let's talk about 2D text. So we're going to click on the timeline and then click on effects. And let's do, where is it? Text. That's not 2D text, just text. Um, to get the text to kind of show through a piece of video, we're going to do a little demonstration here. Let's click on there, do a little color source. Let's do, oh, pink. That'll be awesome. Oh, man, that is bright. That is super bright. Awesome. Okay, but to be able to see text coming through, we're going to click on comp. Click on text. Choose RGBA for alpha. A is for alpha. Alpha. We're going to double click on that. Defaults to discrete. Choose new layer. Let's say blah, blah, blah. Okay, there we go. Oh, well, that's not blah. Blah. Okay. Pink. There it is. We have that. Let's go and make it bigger. Jump on out. And there we have blah, blah, blah. It's on the text. So the reason why I'm kind of showing you 2D text is the pretty much the only thing that I really like about the 2D text. I guess it's not the only thing. But one of the things I like to do in 2D text here is formatting. So say I have a price. And, you know, with my prices... I do a lot of car commercials. With my prices, I like to actually change the dollar sign so it's not this huge thing. So I can change the size, I can go into character and then quickly just move it on up and blah, blah, blah. I have, you know, reformatted text pretty easily. You can do the same with the 3D text and I will go over that in video number two. Video number two, there's a link up at the top of the screen. Do, 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 do. Go ahead and click that. Yeah, okay, okay, maybe not. Okay, continue with this one. That'd be cool. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, so let's do a little 3D text. We're just going to go over the basics of this. Let's go ahead and delete this, delete this. Okay, so to create 3D text, we can do it two ways here is what I, what I usually do. I come from, you know, timeline editing. Sometimes I like to build things on a timeline. I usually don't do my 3D text on a timeline, but hey, I'm going to show it to you just in case. We can go to effects and go to action, which creates an action node on your timeline. If you want to see that through other layers and stuff, you just click on the comp and it would show your other layers. Just double click on the action. It takes you on an action. If you see something like this, you can go on in here to scopes and hide those scopes. Press the tilde key and it'll show you your action schematic. So on the left, I have my schematic. On the right, I have the actual video. If you haven't already, please click on the subscribe button. So here I can then drag the 3D text onto the timeline. There's the 3D text showing up on our screen. Double click on that. You can click on here and go ahead and type blah, blah, blah. There we go. There's our 3D text. Okay, so that's 3D text on the timeline. We're gonna jump on into a little bit more of the 3D text now. We're gonna delete that. Click on a blank space on your timeline. Go to effects, we're gonna do create batch effects. And this is the same type of thing that you can just do in the batch tab. But I do like a kind of a hybrid of timeline, but with batch and action on the timeline. Here's our background and our output. We're going to find an action, do that. I always get in the habit of doing my output and turning on the mat for that. And then I just disconnect this, hold down shift, kiss that in, and there we go. We have a ni nice action. Let's go ahead and bring in a color source. So C for color source. There we go. Do control N. Let's go ahead and make a nice little blue or something. How about blue? Dink, dink, dink. Yeah, something like that. That'd be great. Okay, so action tilde key brings us in. Let's go and get this camera over here just so we have everything kind of there. Go to node bin, 3D text. There's our 3D text. Pretty small, so let's just go ahead and make that bigger so we can really see it. Okay, so going over the tabs of the 3D text, 
Here we can click on the text and then type in whatever we need. Type in hello. Here's our font. It defaults to the Autodesk fonts. I have all my fonts in a different directory, so I'm just going to go to that. Oh, we'll grab this big old gnarly font. Ooh, look at that. We can adjust the size. We can adjust the kerning. We can adjust and make it italic or not, which is pretty cool. If we want to give this 3D text some depth, then we can just go ahead and manually drag that or type in whatever number you need it to be. We're just going to kind of shift this on over so we can see here. Let's go ahead and bring a light into the scene. We can see things a little bit better then. There's our light. Bring this on up so we can see it all the way. There we go. Okay, so here's our extrusion. Here's our, our font. It has no bevel on it. We'll just we'll get to that in just a second. I just kind of wanted to show you guys a little something here. So we have our 3D depth right here. We have a little center front. So that's going to be making the extrusion come forward. That's going to be going from the middle and, and bring it on out. So you can see there it's kind of bringing it on out straight. The front brings it towards you and then back brings it back okay everything's pretty pretty self-explanatory there you know if you're doing some like anima animations and stuff that would probably come in handy to be able to create a profile or you know a bevel to it we're going to go on into profile we can do parametric bevel i usually drop on the bevel and then it gives you this nice handy dandy little tool if you want to make your bevel big you drag this on up there and you make it big if you want to make it kind of con concaved you can do that you can add points in here. So say, let's bring this on up. We're going to press A to add points. You can click here and choose add points also. And add a point there. Go to M just so I can get my little selection tool. And there, we have a nice cool little thing. Look at that. Isn't that handy dandy? Look at that. We can just slide it around and make whatever we need. Super, super cool. Time for a little self-promotion. Please go to Spotify, Apple Music, and many other platforms to take a listen to my band, Fade to Black. So now that I showed you, you know, creating 2D text and 3D text, you can also do 3D text in a 2D style by not obviously extruding it. There we go. Let's just kind of flatten that out. You know, why would you want to make a 2D text in the 3D environment? This tab right here, the transform, you can create animations within it. Single character animations, they can be offset, and it's really cool for motion design, motion graphics. Um, it's, it gives you, you can totally do that After Effects preset thing if you want to go down the road, or if you want to just create your own type of styles. Uh-huh, uh-huh, my head is nodding. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, yeah. Let's do it all custom and make some cool things for our clients. That is a great place to go. Okay, that's the ins and outs of creating a quick little 3D key. In the next video, we're going to be texturing that. And then in video three, we're going to go over some animations. Thanks so much for watching. Please click the subscribe.